I was talking to my dad about uh, liveness, getting a question wrong, which is that um, there's two dice, there's two die that are thrown, and um, one of them you, you use a five, and then the other one is a six. Uh, how how likely is it that that other one is going to be a six? And Lyman has said it's equally likely. And he was a genius calculus master. Uh, I'm I'm nowhere near that level. But I, I understand it at a fundamental point of view. Like, I understand, like, Newton invented calculus. And he he has a simp everyday simple of occurrence where an apple falls on his head. And then he, he thinks to himself, what is that force that made that apple fall on my head? And then he discovers gravity. And then he proves it using calculus, which is a math that he invented. It's a paradigm shift. And that, that just leads me to thinking, like, okay, well... These new methods of science are all based on observations, and it's and it's using simple logic. I I'm, I can't wait to see what new science is going to predict next. Um, I only understand science. Uh, uh, well, I guess college undergraduate level, which is which is it's, it's talent. That's definitely talent. It provides a, a, a given talent. Uh, by hard work, which is what, what I did in math. I really hard, worked hard. Uh, I learned the vocabulary words for SAT. I uh, studied the math section. I studied the vocabulary words, studied critical reading skills using uh, stories that I read, like Al Edgar Allan Poe. Uh, something I understood and I, I liked. And, I, and it all added up to me going to my college I went to. But I'm just thinking critically about it now. Like, just think about it. Like, it's a simple occurrence. Newton, there's an apple that falls on his head, and then that starts calculus. It's crazy. It, it's like, it's, I can't wait to see what, where science goes now. It's just, it, those are my thoughts on science. And I, um, I have a fundamental understanding. I don't have, like, a, I, don't, I have a simplistic understanding to an extent. Um, but it's enough to understand that, okay, this guy, this guy, uh, uh, Newton invented calculus just by an apple falling in his head. He didn't even know what gravity was at the time. There's a, there's a whole different model of, of earth being the center of the universe. And now the sun is the center of the universe in our modern view, which is correct. Um, not the universe, but the center of the solar system. That's more correct. I, I effed up that last sentence, but you understand like what I'm getting at. Like it's interesting that a simple everyday occurrence with simple logic underlying it led to an invention of one of the greatest mathematics ever invented. It's mind-boggling. All right, thanks for watching.